Aloha. I'm Michael Bruno, Provost of the University of Hawaii at Manoa. I'd like to welcome you to our 11th in the UH Community Conversation Series. This webinar series features informative conversations with members of the UH Manoa community. Our primary, primary goal is to share timely, relevant, and valuable knowledge with our community members through the trusted voices of University of Hawaii leaders. We are fortunate to have faculty and staff who are leaders in their field working each and every day to find solutions to Hawaii's problems and to improve the quality of life for the people of Hawaii through the performing arts and other creative work and to the topic of today through our athletics programs. Our guest today needs no introduction to most of our viewers, but I'm going to introduce him anyway. I'm thrilled to have with us the new head coach of the UH football team, Timmy Chang. As a four-year starter for Hawaii from 2000 to 2004, Timmy set the NCAA's all-time passing and total offense records and led UH to three bowl appearances and a program record 29 wins at quarterback. In his final season as a Rainbow Warrior, Timmy was a finalist for the Johnny Unitas Award given to the nation's top senior quarterback. Timmy spent the last five seasons as the wide receiver and tight ends coach at Nevada, where he helped direct one of the most potent offensive attacks on the West Coast. While the Wolfpack earned a bowl bid in each of the last four seasons. Prior to his time at Nevada, Timmy had two stints as an offensive coordinator at Emory and Henry College in Virginia and at Jackson State University, where his run and shoot offense finished among the nation's leaders in multiple offensive categories. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Welcome to me. So before we start, a word on the structure of our program. Uh, the program scheduled for about an hour. Uh, registrants had the option to submit questions for Timmy on the registration page, and we'll try our best to get to as many questions as we can. The live chat and the Q&A function will be disabled. However, the webinar is going to be recorded, and it's going to be made available to registrants upon the conclusion of the live stream at www.uhalum.org, uhalumni.org webinars, backslash webinars. Okay, that's all the information. Let's get right to it. Aloha, Timmy, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, it's good. It's great to be here on Upper Campus. Yeah, and you know, it's, I know for you and you and I have met several times, and we'll talk a little bit about that later, but um, this has just been one big homecoming, hasn't it? And I just want to get your, some of your feelings on being home and, and coaching the home team. It, it feels great. Um, you know, it's any time uh, when I was away and I got to come home, I just, it, I missed it. And it was special every each and every time. And, and you get on that, you know, everybody knows when they leave this place and they know they're not going to come back for a while. Uh, it gets a little difficult to get it, you know, walk through the terminal and go TSA checking and, uh, and, and get, jump on that airplane. But, um, you know, when I landed and, and I smelt that salt water when we got off the airplane, <laughs> uh, it was, it, it, it was on and it was special. It was special to me, especially to be home. Um, it was special to be with my family yeah. and to see my friends. Um, but it's, it's special to be the leader of the football program and these amazing young men that I've got to know for the last couple months. Um, yeah. that continue to work hard and um, and we understand our challenge in front of us. Yeah, and represent and uh, you are the public face of not just the football program but um, for much of what our athletics program is about including, and you and I have talked a lot about this, our student athletes, the students as athletes and uh, you've been here, you uh, obviously as, as uh, for my remarks in the introduction, at a very high level, you were in their shoes. So um, maybe have some thoughts about that and how you how you bring that experience to the role. You know, it's as I coach, and 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 a lot of us coaches, um, we we rely on our experiences that we went through to help these kids. You know, I I 
some of the my fundamental teachings of of football come from life skills and and things that experiences whether they were bad or whether they're good. You know, I had the unique opportunity to to have all my education in about a three mile, four mile radius from here. You know, I went to New Alani Elementary in Manoa, uh, in the valley from K to six. And then I went down the street, a, va a valley over. I went, to the, I went to St. Louis High School, you know, repeated sixth grade and, and probably was the best thing for me because I got to see things again. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and maybe a little in a, in a little stage, mature a little bit there. Um, from 6th to 12th grade at, at St. Louis. And then I come right down the street here to mm -hmm. UH Manoa and um, I get to um, start the, the adult process yeah. and, and, and really dig into some of those life skills that are gonna be used beyond the football field. And so um, it, it's been, it's unbelievable. And, yeah. and, and to be back in this valley, to be here on Oahu and, and and then walking the halls, walking the halls of Sinclair and walking the halls of yeah. of, of the athletic offices and in our locker room and our training room and our facilities and it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you you um you had opportunities when when you were coming out of St. Louis. You could have gone to the mainland mm -hmm. and played and I, I recall you it was a very conscious decision and and I think probably you'd agree in, in retrospect, a really strategic decision to s stay here and play at home. And, and then obviously you went on to a lot of great things afterwards, including playing pro ball, but uh, maybe some thoughts about staying home. Sure. You know, it was um, when I was playing at St. Louis, uh, you know, I was, I was highly recruited as, as one of the top quarterbacks in the country. Um, you know, being there from sixth grade, there was a big winning tradition. I got to see a lot of um, head head coaches across the country. I mean, from Nebraska to Notre Dame mm -hmm. to UCLA to Wisconsin to Florida. I've, I've seen a lot of coaches come back um, and just, you know, walk in Coach Cowley's office. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, one day, you know, I, I was just thinking in my mind, maybe I'd have the opportunity to play football at a high level and I'd, I'd be blessed with a scholarship. Well, I got to watch Coach Jones um, take a take a 0 and 18 University Hawaii program at the time to you know new heights. And yeah. and I got you know they give you senior t they give the seniors recruits tickets to go to the game. So I I sat in the stands every single home game. And you know the first game of the season they played USC and they played a really good tough um, Carson Palmer Heisman Trophy winner team mm. at that time. Mm. And they got blown out by by 50 points. And, you know, it, it didn't matter to me. I saw my offense. I saw the offense that was being um, ran when I was at St. Louis as a quarterback, the same offense that was here. And so it translated to me, and, I, and I, I came back to the next game, and then they won. Then I came back to the next game, and then they won. And so hmm. what I saw was uh, a state rally behind a team that went 0-18, and, and, and it was one of the longest, or if not the longest, losing streak in NCAA football um, at the time. Mm -hmm. And so I saw a state just rally behind the team. And to me, it was like, well, if I can do that at St. Louis and I can do that, you know, at a high level, why can't I do that, perform at that level, you know, for the state of Hawaii? And so, you know, it was, it was, it was a decision that I made that it was a 5, 10, 15, 20 year decision down the road. Like, hey, I want to live in, I want to live in Hawaii one day. I love this place. I want my family to, to, to be here. Um, I want to raise my kids here, and so, you know, why not play for the home team and, mm. and represent the home team? So I said I said no to a lot of big schools, and I made a conscious decision to to, to stay home. And, and in doing so, we got a lot of Hawaii, other Hawaii top recruits to stay home too. And that was that was Coach Jones's 2000 class, you know, and 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 it just grew from there. Yeah, and it sure did. It, it, it grew, and it was it was it was un believable the amount of kids I think I've, I've talked to June and he said at one time he had 19 kids when he first started on the roster he ended up with 75 local kids and and it was a really it was yeah and, and that's special and that's special and and the thing about it is is that you get the fan support the you know the, the fa your families get to come and see yeah, you and they yeah, see you know yeah. watch you play week in and week out and 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 the kids they get to feel the the raw emotion of the state yeah. That's what I enjoy about yeah, it. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's what that's what 
that's what captured me was I, 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 would, I would look at Aloha Stadium and by the time they're playing their last game in, in, of the season against Oregon State, you know, there's, there's close to 50,000 screaming fans. Wow. And Amazing. so it, it, that's what got me. <clears throat> you know, I did go take visits, but in my heart I knew I wanted to stay home yeah. and, uh, and, and play for the state. Yeah, and you were, I mean, it was, for, for all those years, um, you know, I don't know, eight, ten years, it was a really storied program. I, I, I think I told you when we first met, it was a little bit of um, starstruck on my part because, you know, for me, growing up and starting my career in New York and New Jersey, um, we were all, you know, all football fans, college football fans, and come late night Saturday, if you wanted to watch football, it had to be Hawaii football. And, and there was that period when you were there and, and, and several years after, Hawaii football was all out offense, um, yeah. big games and exciting games. And yeah, that stuck with me, so. <laughs> you know, and, and it's, it's, it's funny because when I, you know, I ended up, I ended up leaving the island to go pursue a coaching career you know, um, and there's only one school that, you know, if you want to coach from college or above, there's only one place that you can do it, and that's, and that's here. So I, I left the island, but every stop that I made, Texas, Mississippi, Virginia, and, and the people that I met along my journey, they would all remember those games, yeah, you yeah. know, because we play the last game in the country here. Yep. You know, it's 6 o'clock here, you know, Pacific time, it's 9 o'clock, yeah. you know, East Coast time, it's 11, 12 o'clock at night, yeah. you know, but... <laughs> You know what, what? What? There's a market for it because when people come home and you now they're busy, they, everybody has their things to do. But when you turn on TV and you want to watch a game, and it's late at night and you're coming home from an event or something, and um, you're gonna watch, you're gonna yeah. watch University of Hawaii football. Yeah. yeah. And so I've already, yeah. I've already plugged this, the, I already planted yeah. the seed in, uh, in, uh, in my boss's mind, Dave Matlin. And yeah. so, uh, <laughs> you know, let's, let's, let's keep that tradition going. Yeah, it's an exciting tradition. So. Coming back to your experience, you know, and being um, a, a local athlete, staying home, playing for your local university, um, in terms of recruiting and in terms of uh, keeping um, our local students, so retain, retaining them and also bringing in additional local recruits, uh, it must resonate for them when you tell them your story because they all... They have different aspirations, and sure. we can get to that in a second. But um, is that something you're finding is 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 a powerful message? Sure. You know, I, I'm I believe it. I lived it. I'm here today, yeah. 22 years later. You know, um, living the dream, and yeah. so um, here back home. And and our journey takes us into different ways and different paths. But um, you know, we just I just had a, our our department do a do a study of the, of the last classes that have left us, um, have left the island to go and play away. And I'm looking at the names and it's, and it's, I'm looking at a, a nationally ranked team if they did, if they decide to stay home. Mm. And so wow. that's what's special about this place. Wow. You know, the, the talent is so rich here and, and the rest of the country knows it, you know? And so they come here and they, they try to take our guys off the island. Mm. And, you know, for me, it's my job to prevent that. Yeah. and to sell my story and also to bridge you know as we talk i know we're going to talk about it but to bridge the community and our school and and, and it's not just it's not just football it i mean it's it's other sports i've just seen jocelyn allo um come back home from oklahoma and hit and hit a um you know hit hit the yeah hit, hit the, the home run she hit the home run record, to break yeah. the record yeah 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 and how, yeah. And how cool is that yeah, yeah you know how cool is that sir yeah. i mean it's it's unbelievable, you know. I broke a record, and just so happened I didn't need that many yards. And we were at Boise State at the time, and we played horrible. But you know, I got to break it. I got to come home the next week against uh, Louisiana Tech and break in front of my family and and, mm. and and the state. And I got to hand the ball to my dad. And so, yeah. you know, things just happen for a reason, you know. Yeah. But when it comes to recruiting, there's no secret that Hawaii is rich with talent. Yeah. Um, these kids work really hard. Their parents. Their parents really sacrifice and work really hard. Now, um, you know, as a coach, I, I really want them to stay home and play for the state. Yeah, that's awesome. So let's, you mentioned community, and, um, you know, we've talked about our, our, our students 
as athletes, our athletes as students, and 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 we are. For those of you out there watching, um, there is such a strong commitment um, from Timmy and and from the athletics program overall to really build stronger bridges between the. Um, the academic side, the the different colleges and schools, and the athletics programs, and and support those student athletes. Um, but I know you're also interested in even more, mm -hmm. and and this is unique. You're you're the first one um, that I, I, I've worked with. Um, I, I, I'd have to say the first um, uh, certainly football coach that I've heard talk so strongly about what happens after graduation, what mm -hmm. happens when college football is done and now they're looking out into the community and uh, for, our, for our athletes maybe wanting to stay home in Hawaii and, and how do we give them a leg up into that career? Maybe some thoughts about that. Sure. You know, the, the student athlete is, is, is one that I've, I, I really admired, you know, um, the students I admire, you know. Uh, some of us are, you know, some of us have been lucky to get scholarships. Some of us have been lucky to just be a part of something bigger than themselves. Um, but, you know, these these student athletes work really, really hard, yeah. and it, and it's and it's taxing on their mind, body, and their spirit. You yeah. know, um, there's so much sacrifice that these guys go through, and which a lot of people do. But the regimen that we have our student athletes on. I mean, I see the women's volleyball team practice at six. But those girls are ready and warmed up by 5:30 every day with Coach Robin Amo. You know, our our athletes are 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 we're required to be in at six o'clock, and and we keep them and we put them through rigorous rigorous workouts, and then they got to go do, be students. Yeah. Some of these kids got to go and work to to uh, to you know mm -hmm. to to get themselves through college on top yeah. of that. And yeah. so, I love the discipline, the work ethic that these guys provide. You know, um, but the the thing that I want to do is 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 really, you know, get out to the community, get out to the leaders in the community, the 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 union leaders and and the people that make decisions in the community, and say, hey, you know, it, when our student athletes, you know, they want to stay home, they want to play for the state, you know, with, with these with these life skills and this, this discipline and this work ethic that they have learned, this value that we will help them develop into a career, you know. Because because what's happening is that when, when we teach football, you know, that's the thing about about football is that it has so many life skills in there. You know, there's so much adversity. You get mm. knocked down. Mm. You got to get back up. Yeah. You know, and so in teaching and developing our young student athletes, our football players, and, and other and other and other athletes in sports, you know, bridging the gap between community and leaders and and, and just giving them a life after football yeah. opportunity yeah. is huge, and it's a great selling point for our program and especially our state. You know, if we, if we really have really good players and really good athletes and talent um, and we want them to stay home, you know, only a certain amount of them are gonna make, make it to the NFL yeah. or they're gonna make it as a pro. But, you know, in case that doesn't happen, we, we want them to be great. You know, we want them to work as a professional because that'll only make our team better, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, but if, if they don't make it, at least they, they played for the state, they stayed home, and maybe they get an opportunity to uh, to work to work and provide for their family and yeah. be in our beautiful state. Yeah. So their their athletic gifts providing them other life opportunities. And I'm going to update you on a story that I told you some weeks ago about a baseball recruit mm -hmm. that I had just met, um, and um, I found it just really um, um, not just interesting but also exhilarating that you know he when i talked to him um because i i knew his parents and and they introduced us and um he had just um uh, gone to uh, a visit with the baseball program mm -hmm. and um when they asked him what he wanted to study he said engineering and ours was the only university the only baseball program and he's highly recruited the only program that that did not say, oh no, you don't want to you don't want to study engineering. That's that's hard, and you know we're going to need you in practice. And um, the response here by the baseball 
uh, coaches was that's great. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome, awesome uh, career mm -hmm. career path for you. Well, guess what? He signed. So wow. So he's going to come and play for us. So that's that's my update. So that's awesome. Yeah, it's it's super super cool. So. Um, yeah, so so you know that working working into the community, building those bridges, hopefully for career paths for our student athletes. Um, other areas of uh, what we would broadly call development, uh, so community awareness. I know fundraising is always a part of this. We have the mm. beautiful field behind us, mm -hmm. which was largely made possible by by fundraising. By fundraising, sure. Um, any comments about that part of this? Yeah, work? you know, fun development development is a huge part, and it, and it kind of all ties in together. So development of the kids, development with our leaders in our community, and 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 working together because that also helps recruiting. Now the fundraising part of it, you know, um, a lot of these leaders in our community have been. Um, have been supportive of UH athletics for years, you know. Um, you know, it's funny because that when I was 18 to 22 years old at the time, I didn't know who these people were most mm -hmm. of the time, you mm -hmm. know. And now that I'm home, you know, it's it's good to 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 put a face to name and and and, and see how well and how supportive. That I think that's what I love the most. Being home now is 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 seeing this, the amount of support from our community. You know, and so we've we've had some fundraising events. Um, there's future fundraising events, and 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 it, and it won't stop. You know, yeah. um, you know, I'm I'm out in the community. I'm out with people. I'm with the legislation, um, and so, you know, there's there's a whole bunch of different layers and factors on how people can support. But you know, our student athletes need it because the fundraising part. You know, from from you know our women athletics to our male athletics to our football team, we all need support. Yeah. And and there are challenges, right? There's challenges that we're here in the Pacific Islands and the rest of the countries there. You know, um, we have to travel the, the Pacific Ocean every time, yeah. to, you know, to go. And, 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 that's, and that's, that's taxing. Yeah. You know, it's taxing on our bodies. You know, um, you know, it, you know I, I saw the baseball team in the weight room this morning. And, you know, I was, I was asking one of the players, you know, how, how, how it was and how, how, you know, how they felt. And, and they just had two road wins on, on the back end. You know, mm -hmm. beating uh, Powerhouse USC, and and now our and our water polo teams going out to uh, to play UC Irvine, and they're you know number one, number two, and yeah. so they're yeah, trying yeah. to get seated higher. Yeah. But you know, all that, all the fundraising, all the support of the community makes it, you know, makes it so these athletes get the things that they need. Yeah. You know, nutrition plays a huge part into our. Well, role. I, I was going to ask you about that. So that is. Yeah. That is something that's really important to you, and yeah. and there is a fundraising initiative related to uh, well, I think what's called the football training table and nutrition fund, and uh, mm -hmm. and you may may talk a little bit about that. Yeah, there, there's a couple ways that you can donate um, to the program. Um, you know, we have we have our NACOA, our NACOA board um, that 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 suffices our uh, our football program. A cool Nui Nui, you know, is our is our main is our main sponsor for our, our athletic program and our and our and our donations. Um, there's 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 people out in the community, um, R.J. Hollis, yeah. and um, they're working on fruition for nutrition yeah. program. Yeah. 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 And you know that's that's and, and and again, it's just a lot of people coming and supporting our program. But we need it, you know, because it it ties in the it ties into the recruiting aspect. You know, it ties into, you know, being able to take care of these athletes, you know, yeah. coming and playing for us, but knowing that we're going to be able to take care of you, we'll, fill, we'll fulfill all your needs. All we need you to do is get really good grades and play really hard <laughs> and win and try to win on your expected days. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. Um, but it, it's been, it's been really good. And, um, but, you know, everything that we do is for our athletes and our, stu yeah. our student athletes, yeah. you know, um, I've told the deans the other day that, you know, academics comes first. And then we hold true to that in football. You know, if, if guys are not where they need to be grade-wise, we'll, we'll take them out of football and make sure they're just concentrated on academics, yeah. you know, but also the nutrition part and taking care of their bodies and, and giving, giving them the things that they need to, to be ready to play on the field. Yeah, that's so key. Um, I do want to give a, a shout-out um, while we're talking about this. Um, I want to give a shout-out to the legislature. Um, so far, early indications are that we will get a, 
a boost in the, in the athletics department budget, and, and we're all kind of crossing our fingers, uh, hold that, uh, hoping that holds out, and, and we will get the support that you and the other programs. And by the way, I'm, I'm so impressed. And every every time we talk, you you are right up to date with all the other sports pro- programs. I know you go to the the other games, you go to the matches, and. And I know the same is true with the other coaches. You, mm-hmm. you coaches seem like a tight knit, tight knit group. You know that it, it, it's we're all in it together. You know it, we really are. And um, you know it, when when the legislation and, and again thank you for, for when they when they make you know when they provide. I mean they move mountains for us. Yeah. You know and and it's our job to sustain it and, yeah. and use the things that they've given us so that. Um, you know, we can grow from it and, and continue to grow, you know. But uh, but with 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 the athletic department, it's um, we're all on the same floor in the office, and so yeah. you know when we walk by, we're, we're you know we're high fiving, we're dabbing, we're talking to each other. But yeah. you know, it, it we really are together, you yeah. know. And um and and I just remember when I played, and and some of the best years before when I was when I was younger, watching the program and watching this university. You know, when, when we were really good at all sports, it was fun. Mm. And that's what I want. I, yeah. I want the excitement and the yeah. buzz and, and the fun. Across you know, the year. Across. And it's, 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 it's euphoric. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it, there's no, you know, when, when, you're, when you're really good, everybody's proud. You know, they're wearing the logo. They're wearing the hat. Yeah. You know, they're, they're at the events. They're yeah. showing up. And yeah. that's what I want. And yeah. so... Um, me doing my little part and, and just being there for the other sports that's easy yeah. you know and and my foot and and the football guys and and our student athletes are there for each other and and they bond and you mm-hmm. know it that that unique bond that they have with each other too yeah. you know it's you know no one else would understand some of the things that they 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 go through yeah. unless you experience it and and it's not you know it's it's not easy and and those guys um they sacrifice and put a lot on the line yeah. for for us in this state and yeah. so it's um it's a unique bond they have it's a unique bond us coaches have but uh but but we do it all for the state at the end of the day yeah yeah absolutely absolutely true um <clears throat> while we're on the the topic of um of fundraising communication and and community awareness i want you to talk a little bit about the spring ball game on april 16th right I'm I'm excited about this spring game. You know, I've 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 told people since I've gone here, probably on my first my first press conference, that uh, you know, I want the environment to be basically a party environment. You know, <laughs> you know, I, I I know Hawaii loves to and, and and the people I grew up around and and um and the people I know would just love to come to the event and enjoy themselves. Yeah. You know, it's 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 funny when, you know, your neighbor that, you know, would normally just water their grass and say hello to you and clean their yard up. You know, you get that same neighbor that's really nice and casual and you put her or him in a football <laughs> environment. That's a totally different fan, you know. And so it's 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 exciting. And, um, you know, I I want these people to feel like they can bring their families here and they can enjoy the day together. Yeah. And, and be able to get everything they want on our beautiful campus. And it's and that's the point. The field is right on our campus. It's right on our campus. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, maybe the downside of it is it's too small, and not not everybody might get in. If, yeah. You know. Yeah. And so, but other than that, I think um, you know we're still trying to build it up a little bit more. Yep. But you know, when that I'm, I'm I look at that field every day, and I just I just picture it being just packed and and yeah. rowdy and loud on yeah, third downs yeah. and there's a bunch of people hanging around the parking lot and around the gate and in <laughs> in the different areas but you know that's what i want this spring game to be on saturday you know this spring game on april 16th you know we're going to have in less more kami we're going to have a, uh, an event we're going to have vendors we're going to have food we're going to have drinks we're going to have a cakey zone um we're planning on putting a entertainment out there and and that's in the works right now yeah. um and then you know 
we'll have other places to go and shop a marketplace you can buy uh merchandise you can buy some local merchandise that we're trying to you know um that we're working out the final details on and and then you know from about 3 30 the gates open till about 5 30 the entertainment will happen around around the place and then we're going to funnel everybody in and our boys will be warming up by then to get ready for a 605 kickoff mm -hmm. and we'll run this thing like a game you know we'll split up the teams uh you know we'll we'll play at zero zero and we'll make sure that we are just going at it um and, and playing out all the situations because we could use it yeah you know we're a new team and and we we need to we need to feel we, we need to be ready so when um we know we're in an, a, a, a big environment like this and we're entertaining mm -hmm. that we don't lose focus of what our job is. Yeah. And, and that's to, you know, you do our fundamentals and do our tasks and do our job and, but also enjoy it. Yeah. Really, yeah. really enjoy it. Right. And so this is for the fans, you yeah. know, it's free, you know, it's uh it's free. It's a free, it's free, it's free entertainment. All right. At least more commie. It's free to get in. Okay. You know, but I, pro I can't promise you you're going to get in if you don't come early. And so, <laughs> Um, but uh, but this is this is to give back to the fans and, and to get everybody around and and, it, and it, it's for us too. It's to um, to get ready for the next the next uh, time we'll be doing and that's August 27th against Vanderbilt. So this is that step, and then you're really you're really starting to focus. On yes, the yes, yeah. yes. Oh well, we're student athletes, so when we get done with spring ball, it's going to go right into testing. Yeah. And so we'll give yeah. them the break to, to get ready for testing yep. and, uh, and, and to really ace those tests. And uh, I want that team 3.0 GPA. Yeah, you know, and, and for folks watching, um, the, uh, the deans of, of, uh, uh, of Manoa wanted the opportunity to meet with Timmy and to discuss how they can help mm -hmm. and be, a, be an active participant in the in the academic uh, success of, of your student athletes. And so you, you met with the deans on, on Monday afternoon for, mm -hmm. for uh, more than a half hour. And what were you thinking about there? I wonder, when you, were a, when you were a student athlete here, did you think you'd ever be leading a meeting with the, with the deans like that? No. It was really cool. No, it was really, it was really special, yeah. you know. And um, for, for me to be in a room um, with, with you know, these established um, people in their respectable colleges, it was, to me, it was unreal. You know, my, my father was a, my father and my sister were longtime educators. My dad ended up being a principal at a, at a Nanakuli High School and a couple other places on the island. But to be amongst these leaders, it was unbelievable. And just telling them, you know, the first thing I want them to know is that, you know, Academics will come first, and, and our and our students, our student athletes in football have to be respect respectful. You know, we want them to be respectful. We want them to to be gentlemen and represent us really well. And so, um, and and they needed to know that, um, you know, that that anything that athletics and, and the voice that these athletes have or I have, you know, please use us. Yeah. You know, use us as vehicles and 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 whatever message we can help get out and, and help help do uh, we, we're there for you but um, it, it was it was pretty cool and I was walking out with the engineering dean and, and you tell me this story and he tells me yeah there's not a football player in there so I had to tell him okay I'll get you one <laughs> we'll, you know I'll, I'll, we'll recruit a, we'll recruiting a, an engineer major <laughs> yeah he had a uh, pretty successful uh, volleyball player Patrick Gaston mm -hmm. was, was a mechanical engineering graduate um, uh, one of the top players in the country and so it can be done oh it yeah. can be done yeah so I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting that next football engineering student yes um, so let's switch gears a little bit um, among the different questions we received was a question related to the the changing landscape in college athletics um, we're all we've all been talking about the transfer portal yep. and also the image and likeness um, um, opportunities for student athletes around the country. So maybe your thoughts on, on, on that in particular, how it relates to our competitiveness here? Yeah, tra the, the transfer portal, um, you know, it's been, uh, it, 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 
it's 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 a way for the NCAA to allow athletes to be able to move from one school to another and not be binded. You know, um, no one, no, you know, it, it's hard to explain to these young 18 year olds, 17 year olds, 16 year olds when they're in high school that when you're really good in in football, there's going to be a lot of college com colleges coming after you, and and when they come after you, you're going to have to make a decision, and you can only choose one. Now. Yeah. Um, when they walk into it, though, it is big business. You know, it's it's big, multi-billion-dollar business, mm -hmm. and and there's business decisions that be, are made at a at a bigger level. And so, you know, you know, really, when these when when coaches, you know, that recruit you now jump in and they leave to go somewhere else, um, you know, it at least now the transfer portal in this aspect helps you give you an opportunity to get to another school if need be, right? Yeah. I thought I was signing up for this, but now it's changed. You know, can I leave and not be punished for leaving? Yeah. You know, my, the coaches are leaving, things are happening, whether um, good or bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you know, but it, it's changed the landscape of football because now, you, you know, you've opened up an opportunity for teams to immediately get better if you're able to land some really good players, you know. So you see some good about this in terms of fairness to players, basically to have the same opportunity as coaches, yeah. and 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 for teams if you I, do it I, right. I I think so. I think you're going to be on two ends of the stick, right? Yeah. You you you're at the winning end or you're at the losing end. I think very publicly we we were on the losing end here at the University of Hawaii with some of our players leaving, um, top players. You know, leaving. Um, you know, our job right now is you know to replenish those guys in. You know, and 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 might not be losing at, at how we started. Yeah. You know, you might have been losing at first, but now who we plug in yeah. and to get ready to play these this next season matters. And yeah. so you know, we're in the business of using that tool right now of trying to get guys in to to um, either come home mm -hmm. or. And or find guys that are, are, are coming here to play for the state and have an opportunity of some of the things we talked about, you know, development wise and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it, I think it I think it's, it, it's a tool. And, and I think for the fairness of the kid I, I, and, and their student athletes, um, I, I think it's a great opportunity for them to to use so they're not stuck. Yeah. You know, if if if, if the coach. If a coach left that came and walked into my household and, and said, You're gonna, I'm going to be here, and he left, he left you, then, you know, maybe you want to follow him. Maybe you want to stay. Maybe you want to go in a different direction. But at least you have the opportunity okay. and not be stuck in it. Yeah. So, so the image and likeness, um, your thoughts about maybe how even uh, community members out, out in uh, – across the state might be able to to help the program in terms of the image and likeness opportunities. so name image and likeness is is a, is another great tool that can be used to to help secure athletes to to you know to give them basic necessity needs you know um, some of these you know the rule states that you know they they can't use the university logo um, you know, or, 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 or be, be associated with the university in advertising a company or a business or a small business, but they can use their name, their mm -hmm. image, and their likeness mm -hmm. to, to, um, to sponsor anything, mm -hmm. uh, anything. So, so that's a, a unique way that our small businesses, small businesses, big businesses, local businesses, anybody can get involved with helping our student athletes and supporting them. You know, mm -hmm. and 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 the the most minimal things help. You know, you, if you're to give them coupons to go and eat, or you know, you can mm -hmm. give money, you can mm -hmm. give, you mm -hmm. know, goods. You can give them. This is a way that I didn't know that. This oh. is a way that you can help our student athletes um, and use them for for your liking. You know, and and I think it's I think it's great. You yeah. know, um, if you use it the right way. Now, there's a competitive market out there. You know, and, and, and there's other schools that are using it in a whole different fashion mm -hmm. and, and, and really, really big numbers. You know, I, w I would say for, um, for our needs and what we're looking for, 
um, in, in helping our student athletes, you know, it, it all depends. But you don't have to, it, there's, there's big ends of the spectrum and, you know, the million dollar range and then there's the lower ends and just, you know, just basic necessity needs and, and yeah. whatever the common goal is reached. One thing as a, um, one thing as a coach is that I cannot facilitate the two and, 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 br and bridge the two. So it has okay. to be an outside third party. Okay. Yeah, so this is really good. This is really informative. So, yeah. you know, anybody watching in, in the community that, um, that really wants to help the program, but also help their business, you know, look right. at it as a win-win situation, right? Right. 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 You know, um, you know I, I, tell biz I tell business people this is that, hey, you know, what if you had Colt Brennan when he was at his highest point and he was sponsoring your business, you know, he was wearing your logo around. He was tweeting on Twitter. He was on Instagram. Mm. You know, he was doing a bite in, or in your commercial or something. Yeah. You know, you he'd go to your, he would go to your, um, you know, your your restaurant, mm -hmm. you know, or or your business and and sign autographs or, or take pictures. You know, yeah. it, it would go a long way, right? Yeah. You know, if you yeah. if you had these, you know, these Jason Rivers, these Chad Owens, mm -hmm. and, and and during their time, I mean. You know, uh, everybody in the state knew them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and so it, it's it's it right now. It's a it's a great opportunity that not so many people would know about. But you could use these athletes, these student athletes, uh, for things like that. Yeah, and that's that's really good information. Like you said, for the folks for the folks watching. Um, um, so, a question we kind of touched on, but maybe maybe you want to uh, speak more to is um, uh, the question was posed what's your number the number one hope that you have for your your players playing here for the University of Hawaii my number one hope for my players is that they appreciate their time here playing mm -hmm. they enjoy it um, they learn how it live, how how it feels to live on this island and live with Aloha spirit, and and be a part of something bigger than them, a culture that's different, a language that's different, mm -hmm. you know, um, a state that's just isolated and unique and special, you know. Of course, you know, doing and enjoying it, you know, you you, you gotta. We we start with the basic, fundamental needs of things like time management. We talk about. You know, um, you know, being on time, making sure you set your schedule and you're being accountable, that your work ethic is great, that you're doing everything possible to be the best student athlete, and then learning our scheme, right, and, and, and doing the fundamentals and techniques that's going to that's gonna win on Saturday. At the most basic fundamental things, we want them to be great at because those are going to develop life skills. Those are going to develop skills that's going to be able to win, and if you're winning, this place is awesome, hmm. awesome. And so when in doing those things and, and focusing on the little details like time management, right, and making good decisions, you know, they're going to grow in a culture in a locker room and in a state and the community that's going to embrace them. Wow. And when it does that, it, it's, it's special. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. It's special. And so, um, you know, these, these guys, want, you know, they're three, four, five years here. You know, they get to spend a special time and, you know, a short amount of time in their life together. But when they leave here and they go their separate ways, they'll always remember that locker room, that brotherhood, and that special time that they bonded and had together and worked together. And, and it's some of the best times in their life. Yeah, absolutely. So you just said it. I wanted to talk about the brotherhood. Okay. Um, and you, you uh, this is is part of what you're bringing to the team, right? Something, mm -hmm. something new. You've got, you've got the every time I'm on, I'm on Zoom with you, you've got that Zoom background. So maybe mm -hmm. you want to talk a little bit about that. You know, it, it, it was a it was a thing that the, the the team and 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 the athletic department came up with. It was nothing about who I was, which I thought was so beautiful. Oh. It's not me, you know. Oh. It's it's something they wanted to be a part of, hmm. and what it is, it's it's them. Hmm. It's it's the guys in that room. It's the guys in that in that lecture hall that we, we, we meet in. You know, it's the it's the staff, you know, it's the training staff, it's the strength and conditioning, yeah. it's equipment, it is everybody, it is that athletic department. And 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 it's really just us 
being together, being tight knitted, and 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 doing it something for other something bigger than yourself, yeah. and and doing it for your brother. Yeah. And so when they can start sacrificing and being more accountable and 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 just not thinking about themselves and playing the big one of the biggest team sports that are in the, in this world, um, you know it, it's gonna grow and it's gonna be you're gonna have that feeling of love and mm -hmm. endearment toward each other and you don't want to let that guy down. Yeah, 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 and it lasts a lifetime, right? It, it lasts a if lifetime. You're, you're with those guys for, as you said, four or five years. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, that sticks with you forever. Forever, forever. Yeah. And so, um, you know, it's it, it's special. Uh, you know, the the court. I was just talking. You know, that quarterback um, that played in that '99 season when I was a senior, and, and it was uh, June Jones's first year. Dan Robinson just came back. And brought his family to the university and watched us at practice yesterday. Wow. And so I got to, he, he trained with me. I got to, so I, that's the guy I was watching in my position that made me stay home. But he's coming, up, he's coming back here and he had his family. He's a dentist in Utah oh, and he's wow. from Utah and uh, brought his beautiful family. And they were, they were here at practice. And, um, you know, I made, I made Matt Chon, our chief of staff, go get the cart for him. And so his daughter uh, took them around upper campus and, and they just kind of relived the, the, where daddy was, uh, wow. where daddy, you know, was said and done and, and how he provides for his family. He was right here at this university. And so um, wow. that was special. Yeah, that's an amazing story. Um, so I'll get to, we have time for a few more questions. Um, one person wrote in, I guess they're looking for, maybe do you have some, uh, some s secret sauce, some some special approach to recruiting. What what what's your style of recruiting? When you, like you said earlier, you're walking into a maybe a household or mm -hmm. meeting somebody comes here for recruit. Yeah, I, I sell I sell me. I sell our staff. You know, I sell what what I sell what we can bring to a kid. And so, you know, the, the most unique part about. Um, recruiting and and meeting the recruits so these recruits when you you know you have to have a vetting process of recruiting and you get you get thousands of people that want to play football but really there's only one or two at each position three maybe four maybe that you're really going to take mm. so through the thousands and thousands of kids you know you might have about if, if you're going to take two guys you might have 10 people that you're really trying to get after right and 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 these these kids are special. I mean, they're they're gifted, you know. And and the thing that I sell to them is is me and what I can do for them. You know, how do I how can I develop them into an elite player? What's life after football for you? How do I develop them life skills that you're going to need that I know you will need to redirect and channel that energy into the direction you want to go and be successful mm -hmm. at. Yeah. Um but the, the, the best part about it, and I tell them all the time, is it's the parents. Because mm. to be special, to be unique, and to have that, you know, a lot of kids have talent. But to hone it and, and um, to be really, really, really good, you've got to have a really pretty good foundation and a background. And there's people in your lives that have helped you and mentored you to getting you there. And so the parents and the, and the guardians are, are the ones that I... You know, you make the relationship with, and you, you ask the questions, and you start to you start to find out about who the kid is through them, and and and, and their beliefs and their huh. things that um that help you win games on Saturday. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, we started the conversation you were talking about, especially here, come game time, it's all the families, the extended families, the friends of the families, all really in support of the student athlete. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Special story here. It's a special story, you know, and, and we're getting good turnout right now for just normal Saturday practices. Hmm. I mean, hundreds of fans are coming out and, you know, I, we, you know, after practice, I get to walk through and, and see everybody. And, you know, there's aunts and uncles of players on the team, not, hmm. you know, not just, you know, not just the, um, the normal um, parent or brother and sister, you got aunts and uncles and cousins and, hmm. you know, uh, you got it's a whole, whole it's a whole tribe involved yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's fun you know it, when, when you're talking I'm thinking about what happens at commencement this, yeah. the same thing oh, at commencement, yeah. Yeah. that extended 
uh, that extended family. It, it's just wonderful, and it is really unique here. So before we we end, I, I wanted to give you the chance um, to um, maybe speak to something that we haven't gotten around to, or maybe say a few things to the audience that you'd like them to to know. Yeah, you know, you know, for for me, um, you know, it's at, at my time here. Um, as it will, uh, you know, I really believe in um, the development of our guys and our players and our student athletes. You know, I really believe in um, the university as a whole, as we talked about, uh, working together, you know, as a state, working together. I look at it like this, you know, we're here and everybody else is there. And, and everybody on, this, on, these, on these eight islands are all in it together. And, and that's the view and that's the mentality that I take with this approach, you know. It's bigger than us, you know, I was, I'm correcting players out there and I'm like, you know, the play tells you the hook at eight yards or turn around at, at eight yards. The whole state is relying on you <laughs> to turn around at eight yards, okay. The whole state's relying on you to block that guy. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> but, but that's how it is. I yeah. want these kids to feel that, you know, I want these kids to know that, hey, Man, it's bigger than you. It's bigger than us, you know. But it, it really comes down to the simplicity of everything. But it's bigger than us, and so we represent everybody. And um, but I look forward. I look forward to the state rallying behind this team, and getting behind it, and um, and coming out and supporting. You know, um, we're, we're. I'm really proud of our staff. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about our staff. I, I love that. I love the type of guys that we have that are going to develop these young men. Um, you know, they're good people, they're fathers, you know, they're husbands, um, and, 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 they, and I think we have the most kids um, in the country on a staff. And so we just had, no, one, one of our staff members had number eight, another, st another staff member had number seven. <laughs> and, so, and, that's, and that's to add on to my six, so between three of us, you do the math, oh, you know? Oh, man. And so, um, um, but love our staff, um, and we're going to work hard. Yeah. We're going to yeah. work hard. and, and and we're in, we're we're in it we're in it to win that's that's awesome so. i think we're we're out of time and um coach i can't thank you enough this has been awesome and i i know we're going to get some emails saying hey bring them back again you know oh okay. <laughs> they will come back again at some point i know during season you're going to be so busy but uh let's see um i want to thank everybody for tuning in um, and for registering, uh, everybody who registered is going to get an email with the, um, with the link to this webinar. And you can feel, uh, feel free to share it. Also, we're going to pro provide you with other information, including opportunities for you to support, uh, support the team, support the student athletes. We have been speaking for the last hour about our athletes, our football players, mm -hmm. as students. Um, and and um, as such, they need your support. Uh, you've seen right here for the last hour the strong support they have from the head coach and his, his team of coaches. Um, so come on out, support us, mm -hmm. starting on April 16, and support us in any way you can. So thank you, Timmy, and we'll see everybody online again soon. Stay well, everybody.